Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, allow me to introduce me. I am Kirk M. Samuels. That's Kirk like Captain. <laughs> to know me is to know what I call awkward encouragement. I was born the son of a sharecropper. That was a joke. I always wanted to say that. I don't even know what a sharecropper is. <laughs> I was born March 10th, 1973 at Washington Hospital Center in Washington, D.C. I promise that's the last time I'm going to rhyme. <laughs> My father returned home from the Vietnam War with post-traumatic stress disorder and a raging drug and alcohol addiction. He spent most of my life in and out of a mental hospital. When he was home, there was chaos and abuse of almost every kind. And when he was away, we would be visiting him on the weekends. My father died in 1996 at the ripe old age of 46 years old. My mom was an abused mother doing the best she could raising two boys in what was the murder capital of the world at the time. And in my humble opinion, I think she did a hell of a job. One of the most significant things to happen to me in my life actually occurred at the age of nine, but it leads me here today to speak to you. At the age of nine, I was introduced to my very first girlfriend. Her name was pornography. Awkward. <laughs> I warned you ahead of time. I would spend the next 30 years of my life completely addicted to her. She would control everything and she would ruin everything that she controlled. She ruined relationships, she ruined careers, self-esteem, everything. At my rock bottom, I found myself sleeping in the back of my car. And in the back of my car, I found myself in a valley. But in that valley, I found hope. And in that valley, I found grace. And out of that valley, I developed a system, a plan, like a formula, a recipe to get free from today's internet pornography. And I have spent the last two plus years teaching this method to ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. And this journey has changed my life. This journey has opened doors for me to speak in various venues and, and avenues and and, and this journey has ignited a fire within me. It has ignited a fire within me to write and to speak light into dark places, to speak hope into hopeless places. This journey has, has given me a new purpose and a vision in life to spend the rest of my life looking at people, speaking to people, looking at people in the eyes and teaching them encouraging them, showing them, inspiring them, motivating them, proving to them that their greatest burden can be someone else's greatest blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I thank you for this time and I thank you for this opportunity. Madam Toastmaster,